This owl design was inspired by an image I may have seen on Pinterest or Google. The originator is unknown to me. While learning how to needle felt, I often turned to YouTube and found both images and tutorials that have greatly informed me. I hope you will find the following tutorial informative as well. Like most of my needle felted sculptures, I begin with one or all of these three basic shapes. The owl uses the ball and egg shapes. This demonstration begins by rolling the core wool tightly to create a ball shape. Once the underlying shapes are complete, I will add the top details of color and features. I'm going to begin by spreading out a little piece of the core wool and rolling it tightly, as tightly as I can, um, to form the base for the ball. The tighter I roll it, the less time I'm going to spend poking it with my needle to get it felted. Once you've rolled the wool tightly, you will secure the fibers with your needle. The needle has small barbs along the shaft that when poked in and out will draw the fibers closer and closer together. Poke the needle into the wool, but not so hard as that it will poke the table underneath. I move the shape around to be sure to felt all the sides and be careful not to stab my fingers. And I think this looks good. I'm going to give it a little roll between my palms just to secure the shape. I've already made the egg shape. So I've completed both the egg and the ball shape and it's time to put them together to start to create the shape of the owl. Um, here's a little reminder. And I'm going to go ahead and put the head about here. It looks good. Take my needle, give it a few pokes around the side. Um, and what this does is kind of get it there temporarily to make sure I like where it is. You can easily pull it off and reposition it. It's kind of a nice thing that happens when you're needle felting, certainly at this early stage. You're able to um, you know, make some decisions and make some changes pretty easily. All right, the next thing I want to do is uh, make sure that um, I'm going to go ahead and fill in these areas here between the head and the body uh, to go ahead and make this more smooth uh, shape of the owl. And I'm going to do that by taking some more of the core wool. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of fold it together in my hands get it a little bit uh, more compressed so that I actually have something to poke with my needle felting needle um, and, and to fill in that area. You can see I'm using another tool which is actually three needles in a special case that allows me to um, use that instead of a single needle and what it does is it, it helps me to uh, accomplish the needle felting more quickly. Um, in this case, you can see I prefer the single needle most of the time. Here I go, poking a little more. Okay, I'm going to add some more to the other side of it. And uh, here you get the basic idea of what I'm doing. Here's my owl shape in progress. Still needing more poking to achieve the smooth, firm shape that I desire. I finished the core shape and it's time to begin adding detail. I've chosen a wool bat for this owl since it is a stylized owl. I like the bat for its natural color and it's less refined, keeping a variance of color and also some nubs of this and that. All right, I'm going to begin by outlining the face. I'm going to take my bat, I'm going to gently stretch it till I form a line of wool. And that's what I'm going to use to outline the shape of the face. You can see I'm just going to gently put my needle in and start to poke around. I'm going to continue defining the shape of the face by gently pulling that strip of wool with my needle, tip of my needle, um, to create the shape. Now I can do this while the wool is very soft and it is showing no resistance. 
Um, if you try to pull the wool that is hard and has a lot of resistance, um, you most certainly will break your needle. Okay, here I'm going to take a look. Um, I don't really see the shape of the face is really looking the way I'd like it to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to pull this off and reposition it. Now you can see that is easy to do. And here's, I mentioned you can make these decisions early on. It's only gently put in place. All right, I'm going to continue to shape the face. Okay, I've completed um, the basic shape and the face and the breast area. And I've also needle felted the, um, the body and the color of the body so that it is uh, really smooth and firm. And uh, actually it's just the way I like it. So I'm now going to start by adding some of the facial features. Here I have a piece of yellow wool and uh, a dark gray wool, the yellow for the beak, the gray for the eyes. And before I actually add either of those, I'm gonna go ahead and define the shape of the eye along the side of the face. You can see where the beak begins to come down. So I'm going to take a little piece of the yellow wool and I'm going to begin by just kind of rolling it between my fingers and uh, the friction actually begins to felt the fibers together. So I'm going to do that for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and take my needle and uh, needle felt it into a little more of the shape that I'd like to see it for the, for the beak. Taking off a little piece, didn't need quite as much. Okay, so I'm going to place it, hold it gently with my finger, and uh, I left a little bit of fluff on either side of the shape, and I'm going to go ahead and poke those into the, um, the face. So this is going to hold that beak right in place. Okay, and uh, before I put the eyes in, I think I'm going to build up the brow a little bit. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my white wool, which is the same wool I used as, for the core, but it is actually a roving that you can use for the top as well. And I'm going to apply it to the brow, um, just above the eyes, pulling that in with my needle. And I'm going to poke it in gently because I actually like it to be a little bit fluffy. Again, that adds to the character of the owl. Do the same thing on the other side. See, I'm putting it between my fingers, rolling it a little bit, start gets the felting process started just makes control a little bit easier. So it's it's not just flying every which way. I kind of have an idea of the shape and where it belongs. Next I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of that gray. I don't need much. I'm going to roll it in my fingers same way I did with the beak, just to get the shape defined and to begin to felt that little tuft of wool. Um, go ahead and place it gently. Watch out for your fingers. I'm going to go ahead and put it in place and poke it in to the eye. I'm going to also make sure that I follow that line down the edge of the beak Again, it helps to define the face area. All right, I have both eyes in place, and now I'm going to begin to uh, make the uh, breast feathers. 
And here I'm just merely taking small bits of the wool, rubbing them between my fingers to create small balls. You can see I'm putting them, doing that ahead of time, just creating a bunch of small balls. And um, I can then take those balls and begin to apply them to the breast with the needle. Go ahead and just pick up one little piece at a time, decide where to put it. Gently hold it with my finger, be careful. But I go ahead and poke that into the breast. And I continue with all the little balls that I've created, get them in place. And there you have it, a really sweet little needle felted owl ornament.